hey what is popping you guys today i'm going to be talking about the time i auditioned to be a stripper at 18. so yeah let's just get into it by the way i'm not naked i have a tube top on okay so yeah let's just get into it so this is kind of weird story time but let's just do it so basically this is how I pretty much got the audition is I just like um I went and I went on their website to the local strip clubs around me and I auditioned you know it was always something that I wanted to do you know like all the strip influencers like it was a really big thing at the time and stuff like that now I probably never would but I was a little bit different than I'm 19 now about to turn 20 next month so this was about like a year ago you know what I mean when it was kind of like a bigger thing and I just basically went on the website and I auditioned usually I wouldn't get shit back but this time they actually wanted me and I was like okay but one thing actually on the audition thing I fucked up on I asked are you under 21 and I said yes and it said are you under 18 and I thought it says are you 18 so I said um yes <laughs> And so basically, like, the girl did not even look at the fucking audition, like, little thing I filled out because she called me in anyways when I literally said on the form that I was a child, but I wasn't anyways. So already it was kind of a, like, mm, I don't know about this club. They seem kind of messy anyways. And so I needed a ride to get there because it was kind of, like, a little far away than where I lived and stuff. So, I was like, shoot, like, I need a ride because I had, like, driver anxiety, like, at this time, you know? And, um, so there was this guy, uh, at this concert that I went to and stuff like that. And, um, he was pretty nice to me. He, like, gave me, like, a ticket so I could be with my friends and stuff like that. Didn't think too much of it. Didn't know that he liked me. That's how it always goes. That's something y'all are gonna know about me. Like, I never know when people fucking like me, even if it's super fucking obvious, you know? So, he's like, I'll take you. <laughs> and actually, I had to go pick up my high school diploma. Like, this is right after I freaking got out of high school. I was like, I'm gonna be a fucking stripper, you know what I'm saying? And so we went and picked up my fucking diploma. By the way, this guy is like 26. I'm like 18, fresh out of high school. He's wasting no time. He's like, nah, I'm gonna get with this girl. And we go pick it up. And, uh, yeah. Then we head over. And I go in, and the girl said, sorry not to flip you off, but, um, the girl is like, she told me to, I emailed her, I was like, hey, what do you want me to wear? What do you want me to bring? And she actually responded. She's like, just bring a bikini. I was like, okay. I mean, I have stripper clothing, but like, if you want me to bring a bikini, like, I will. So I brought a bikini and I did my little thing. I pulled up and I go inside and they're like, okay, get ready for audition. I'm like, okay, bet. And I'm getting ready. I'm like taking all my clothes off, putting on my bikini and stuff like that. And there's these bitches there that like won't even dress in front of the girls. I'm just like, girl, if you can't even dress in front of girls in the locker room, do not be a fucking stripper. Just saying, but whatever. And there was this other girl that like was a stripper before and she was like such a voluptuous like black woman, like beautiful and shit. But she was like, oh, I feel so, like, naked on my lashes, but I don't have any eyelash glue because I won't have any. And I was like, girl, I got you. I got some. And I went to go look at them, and oh, my God. I got a glimpse of her tits because I just could not help it. I was, like, <laughs> giving it to her, but she's not care. She just, like, whooped it all off because she's already been a stripper, you know. It's normal for her, pretty much. And, um... So, yeah, and then she was, like, she looked at it, and it was, like, dirty, which is this random shit I got off the floor. She, was like, looked at it, and she was, like, oh, it looks dirty, which that's just how it gets. Like, it gets all, like, crusty and shit from, like, opening and closing, and then some gets on the outside, and it dries down because it's glue, yada, yada, yada. But she was, like, she didn't want it, and I was kind of, like, bitch, like, you are in a time of need, and I helped you out. Like, what do you fucking mean? But whatever. That was how that girl was. So I was just like, whatever. 
and I put that shit back in, and then we go line up, and, um, it's time for us to get on stage, and there's just, like, a little pull, it's not even, like, goes all the way to the ceiling, like, it's so fucking dumb looking, and, um, there's no railing on the, like, stairs, and the stairs are black, and, like, this is the daytime, but... like you would not be able to see that shit i'm like that is a lawsuit waiting to fucking happen and i was wearing eight inch heels and i just like i tried to get up there and i was trying not to fall because i was like girl if you fall you ain't gonna get picked and so i got up there and i just went like this she just had me walk around the little um pole not even do any tricks that i knew how to do you know what i mean I don't know anything. I just know like a couple. Anyways, I took in a little pole dance class. Ah, my blonde hair is sticking out. Don't mind that, y'all. Is that like my wig today? The black one? Anyways, and so everyone did that. And then we were going to go inside and speak with her. And I don't know why, but the vibes of this club was not it. I was like shaking. Like it was really like weird like i don't know like it was not the club for me and i was like i hope i don't get picked because i don't want to come back and shit like that and so i'm just waiting for my turn the like black stripper girl that's already been a stripper goes in and i'm like hearing in and i'm just like the fuck because they're all like yeah we pay you an hourly wage of like 20 an hour and they're only open like for five hours so like what is that like two four six eight ten that's like a hundred dollars per shift or like maybe 120 i don't know i can't do math anyways but it was not that much and i was like the fuck so are they just gonna like pay you a little bit and then like take all your money and stuff also this type of club was like a club where you didn't show anything you just showed pasties because the laws here it's like if there's alcohol there can't be nudity if there's nudity then there can't be alcohol so this was a club where there's alcohol so there can't be nudity so yeah and uh then it's my turn to go in and she's all like oh by the way one thing i wanted to mention is her daughter actually called her and she's all like honey like i can't talk right now i'm doing auditions and her daughter just freaking hung up the phone on her i was like the fuck like you're supposed to be my house mom and like your daughter don't even fucking like you like no like i don't know about that that was kind of a red flag and um it was my turn to go in and she's like have you danced before i was like nope and she's like i can tell and i felt like telling her well bitch you can't fucking show your child or whatever um and then she's like do you go to clubs i'm like no I'm 18 and so that and she's like oh it says like 21 everywhere like we can't have you and I'm like bro like I can just not drink the fuck and she's all like if you want go to like this other club or whatever I was like bitch I tried that they didn't want me which in hindsight they were doing me a favor but anyways um I did not like get that at the age of 18 and so I just pick my shit up and I leave and I felt like telling her, well, bitch, I fucking put that on my thing. But obviously this bitch did not even read them. But whatever. And so I grab my shit and I leave. And to be honest, I don't think any of the girls that auditioned even got picked. Because I just, like, look at their website and I'm just like, this is a girl she won't be hiring. The fuck? That's how I feel about all the strip clubs. Like, they hire the most ugly girls, like okay whatever don't go to any clubs in the bay area they're all trash anyways and so i pick up my shit and i go back out and the guy's waiting for me i get in his car and then we go to like this fucking like dairy queen or some shit or like crispy cream i don't know he wanted to go there and i'm just like okay like we can get some and yeah we get some like food and then we go to this park and then this old ass man fucking tells me that he likes me i'm just like 
yeah, I can't be with you because you're 26, so I'm 18, like, you know, and stuff. And also, he was ugly, and so pretty much I rejected him. But yeah, you guys, and I got rejected by the strip club, and I never tried again because I already tried one other club, and they're like, no, we don't even want you to come in for an audition because you're 18, but it was only 18 plus. So... I don't know, but yeah, that's my stripper audition story time. Hopefully you guys uh, liked this video. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit my crazy past. I was going to do that stripper shit, you know what I mean? I was standing on business. So yeah, but I probably wouldn't do sex work again, but I don't know. It was just something I wanted to try, see if it was for me, and it wasn't, so now I know. So yeah, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell um, so you get notified so you can stalk. And also, one thing I wanted to ask you guys is, I know I kind of ramble and like it's hard to listen to me when I talk and stuff like that in my YouTube videos. But if you would please just watch like at least till like um, 15 minutes. I know like in the 10 minute vids, you can't watch that much. But like in my other vids, if you watch just till like 14 minutes... Because YouTube will recommend your videos if people just watch till 14 minutes way more than if people just watch for 4 minutes. Which is like my average time people stay on my YouTube videos and stuff. And make sure to engage, you know, like comment, like, and subscribe. And even if you just have me in the background, like it does way better for my channel. And so yeah, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below what videos and story times you want me to do next and if you liked this type of video and i will see you in the next one Mwah. big kiss i love you guys bye guys